Sweatwater boys and girls, and welcome to today's episode of Swamp Cribs. Swamp Cribs! Yeah! So with today's Swamp Crib, we saw the perfect match between ideal weather and impeccable design. Welcome to Swamp Crib 6. Splash on over, and we'll check out this thing. Swamp Crib 6 is our attempt at creating the hourglass watchtower format. As you can see, it's heavily rope intensive. No support. Natural support. And the most important part, the dingle dog. This is an example of how an overcomplicated plan can reach the perfect level of incoherence and danger. And now for the moment of truth. Solid flooring, handrails for safety. Like in Swamp Crib 5, added height gives us an advantage over the swamp people and the elements. From up here, I can see yards into the swamp. Swamp Crib 6 teaches us a lesson learned long ago by the New Guinea Highlanders. Superior design can make up for flaws in material. But of course, that's basically what we do here on Swamp Cribs. See you next time. So the Swamp people have yet another weakness. High notes. So we have the Swamp Cribs slide whistle, which can be used to repel them from any distance within earshot. 